Balenciaga is under fire for its recent ad campaign with children. Accused of sexualizing children in a controversial new ad campaign. Luxury brand now apologizing for these photos showing little girls in Balenciaga sweatsuits with plush bears and what appeared to be BDSM inspired harnesses. Isabella here and welcome back to the channel. So today's video, like I don't even know how to begin this video besides I'm so fucking disgusted. I'm sick to my stomach after everything that I've read through about this entire situation. So if you guys can see by the thumbnail, we're going to be covering the Balenciaga ad situation, everything that's gone on. So I wanted to talk about this for a while. I posted this up on my Instagram story uh, several days ago saying how I wanted to cover it. However, I wanted to wait a little bit longer because with something as big as this, usually there's more information that comes out and a lot of people start digging into Balenciaga more, which therefore has it to where I can provide more information in a video discussing the problems and more evidence in it. There's a lot going on here and this entire video is going to be talking about predatory actions and behaviors with children and so much more. So before we actually get in this video though, I do want to make it super duper clear because every time I talk about videos that involve children, exploiting children, family channels and such, I have several comments usually that come in and say, man, I don't know if I can get through this video. Something I really want to make super duper clear when it comes to these types of videos, please, 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 if you are someone that gets really triggered by this stuff, prioritize your mental health, okay? If you want to support, I really appreciate it. Commenting, liking, sharing that is it that's all you have to do but do not feel any sort of pressure to get through or sit through a video like this I appreciate you wanting to but again at the end of the day this is a very triggering topic I don't know what my viewers have or have not gone through or if it's just in general it's really triggering for them and again please prioritize your mental health but if you can support some way we can talk about this more and expose this type of bullshit because I yeah this is this is fucked up. So before we hop into today's video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get into it. So let's do a quick backstory with Balenciaga. If you guys don't know who Balenciaga is, the brand or whatnot, really quickly, this is a brand that I, I've noticed a very specific pattern with. They have kind of given this look and vibe of more dark futuristic clothing and pieces, which you know what, that's great. As someone who really loves fashion and is into it, I think it's really cool. And along with this though, I also know how there's many different companies as well who like to push boundaries, evoke thoughts, have some creativity and I love that. I think that's really cool with the fashion industry and again it's really awesome marketing. However there's also certain companies and certain aspects and campaigns that surpass that entirely and start causing some major fucking problems and doing some very very dangerous things and promoting stuff in a very unethical and harmful way and Balenciaga is displaying it in this situation. So Balenciaga earlier in the month of November actually released a campaign that was allegedly their holiday collection and nothing about this screams holiday mind you but they released something it was a an objects campaign. So a lot of designers, they have stepped into this world where they will have regular objects or pieces that are actually branded by the designer, but they're regular fucking pieces. So take, for example, like if you go into Tiffany's, they will have customized dog collars. They will have luggage, things like that, right? And so a lot of companies really like doing it because it's objects, it's random things. It's customized according to the brand. Literally even companies will go as far as making furniture. I think Hermes has made furniture as well, but things like that, right? Which is not uncommon in this world. And so with that, the campaign launches and then all of a sudden it fucking blows up because of some very specific photos. There's going to be specific photos that are highlighted here, but there's also a couple I want to mention that I don't think were talked about enough that, that just really creeped me out. There's these two photos here. I'm blurring out the children's faces, of course. They should never have been in this campaign. So in this campaign, they are showing and displaying children in very different positions holding specific objects. Now, these objects in some of these, some of them are holding objects, some of them are not, but in these two specifically, I'm going to show you this one the teddy bears that they are holding are in bdsm wear if you guys don't know google at your own risk if not there are certain things that should not be around children okay so when we have teddy bears that are dressed up in bdsm wear and you're having a fucking child hold it are you kidding me are you out of your fucking mind in what way did that make any logical sense the rest of the objects of the photo are like regular items right whatever random stuff there was no need for this to be put on there was absolutely no fucking reason for this to be put on i'm pissed about it because one i'm very uncomfortable with the fact that these children now, these images are going to be on the internet forever. Their fucking parents expose them to this and Balenciaga expose them to this. And so therefore they're going to grow up and be like known as the kids who are a part of this situation. Additionally, I would like to add that mm, this makes, this is exactly why I am so all about being very protective of your children on the internet. These kids, many kids now have been put into a very uncomfortable position. Again, I completely understand that any capacity kids photos on the internet of children can be used in a very negative way. Absolutely. However, this is a very specific campaign. 
I truly think this is on purpose. So these photos have come out, and again, there's another one here, same concept, same thing. What the fuck? It's weird. There was another photo as well that I want to show you guys where it looks like it's in a bedroom. Here's what really irks me and icks me out on this as well is, again, when it comes to campaigns like this, everything is particularly set up. It's done on purpose. And what I would also like to say is these campaigns have tons of people that these photos go through. It's not like a one or two person team where you're taking an Instagram picture and you're like, yeah, that looks good, whatever. You facetune something, you toss it out. These are particularly done. You have the photographers, you have directors, you have boards, you have so much that goes into this. And every photo is combed through so that way you know what the hell is what. And from other people, I'm gonna display this here, other professionals in just the entire industry as a whole will say people will return photos because the font is weird or a tone is off or a color is wrong. World-renowned photographer Misan Herman recently spoke out on regarding the Balenciaga controversy and I really think you should listen to what he has to say. So I um I've had a lot of messages saying you need to see what's going on with Balenciaga. <clears throat> I have and as a photographer as a photographer that's worked with many brands in the fashion industry I'm I'm utterly horrified and I'm angry. I know how many steps you go through as a photographer to get the client to approve images. I know how many adult eyes have to look at images for them to be printed, especially for a retail campaign where you're selling the product online. This gift shop shoot by Balenciaga is abhorrent. And those babies, those children who were not protected, I don't know where the parents were, but I do know that those children were not protected so you could sell your products. The fashion industry needs to do something about this. The owner of Balenciaga, caring all the way up to the CEO, to the owner, um, Francois Pinot, need to do something about this. The idea that any products for children are being sold now on the website of Balenciaga is an affront to those children that were not protected. This is unacceptable, and I don't care if I never shoot for anyone in this industry again. Children we're talking about. To my friends that have any contacts in the fashion industry, do the right thing and speak to the people that can do something about this. An Instagram apology, and yes, we're investigating, is not enough. This is a, an alarm for the industry. Where are we going? Where are our most precious? Are being used for what? At what cost? No. Unacceptable. The photography industry and campaign and marketing aspect as a whole does this. There is no way in hell that some that so many people sat there and were like, this is fine. Yeah, no, there was something deeply wrong with this. It feels like this was created on purpose for a very specific amount of people. And additionally, something I would like to say is again, like the fashion industry has been known for having thought provoking campaigns, having you new and unique things. Like for example, take this runway show with um, Bella Hadid. I thought it was beautifully done. It was something where it combined like technology and science into fashion. It was so cool. And it was more of a futuristic aspect and way of showing off fashion. They were able to display, literally putting the dress on her and creating it there. That is awesome. I loved it. So the, this is a pattern. This is what people do in this industry. The fact that it's so particularly done. They have high power people that are involved with this. They have specific planning. This takes a long time to make happen. And this came out? Fuck no. Y'all did this on purpose. This is another part of this that's gonna, oh my god, this made me very sick to my stomach because I saw the photos of the children. I was already very uncomfortable with it. So there was actually another photo that was released where it was a bag atop of a bunch of paperwork. When I looked into all this, this damn photo was still up. Was still up even after the controversies were going on. So I'm sorry, Balenciaga doesn't feel an inch of sorry in my opinion. There was a little bit of a paper that was sticking out. And so people are looking into it. Yeah, guess what? This paperwork, it contains from the U.S. Supreme Court opinion in the United States versus Williams. And you know what this court case was? So this case was discussing United States code criminalizing in certain specified circumstances the pandering or solicitation of child pornography. This case presents the question whether the statute is overbroad under the First Amendment or impermissibly vague under the Due Process Clause of the Fifth Amendment. That's what this case was covering. So again, another photo as well, another individual wearing some type of outfit in the background of this because she's in an office. In the background of these photos, there is a book specifically showing. And what is this book, you may ask? This artist is someone that has had a pattern of displaying children in a very uncomfortable and creepy way. The Balenciaga controversy just keeps getting worse. On Balenciaga's website, you'll find this image, and in the background, you'll see this book. This book right here is by Michael Borman. In this book, you'll find a series of paintings of children dressed in robes doing some kind of ritual. Some of the paintings look like there are people eating body parts. 
The same artist also created Fire from the Sun, which includes small and large-scale works that feature toddlers engaged in playful but mysterious acts with sinister overtones and insinuations of violence. These paintings are super disturbing. This book at the bottom is The Cremaster Cycle. If you look up Cremaster, you'll find Cremaster 3, which is a movie about the murder and resurrection of a Biff, which are reenacted during a Masonic initiation. The amount of symbolism that people have uncovered from these Balenciaga photo shoots is deeply concerning. Balenciaga recently apologized for the images that they posted on their website of children holding teddy bears in bondage gear. However, it's important to remember that they signed off on it. They were okay with that. They were okay with the placements of these books and these symbolism. They're not sorry for these images. They're sorry they got caught. It is not one photo. It is not, it is many, many different photos and experiences that people have showed of these fucking campaigns of Balenciaga showing clearly placed pieces, paperwork, items, etc. to show off an entire vision. I'm sorry, but this, this was done on purpose. For anyone that doesn't know me, I was a professional model for 10 years and I'm part of a group called the Models Alliance, which looks to make the fashion industry actually held accountable for the predatory ways in which it has always been. And this is where it gets real juicy. The Model Alliance met with LVM and caring executives, you know, the company that owns Balenciaga, in 2019 to talk about the Respect Program. What is the Respect Program, Barrett? Well, let me tell you. It is a contract that the Models Alliance created to help brands do better, be better, and not have predatory behavior continue on. Here are some of the main points in it. Create a workplace code of dignity and respect. Educate everyone of their rights and responsibilities under the program protect transparency and models' right to speak out, and go beyond voluntary company policies to enforceable commitments. You know, like not using children in bondage ads. And you know what? Caring, in the end, didn't sign this program. But wait, it gets better. Because on April 19th, 2022, they signed an integration for young people, vulnerable individuals, and people with disabilities with the aim of supporting them in the job market. Young people and vulnerable individuals. Oh, you mean like children. What the hell is the reason for officeware to show off documents of child exploitation and virtual child porn? What the hell is wrong with you to put kids in an uncomfortable position? But you want to know what's so fucked up about this? Balenciaga made a statement and pretty much pushed the blame on someone else, which again, as I previously said, there was no reason for them to push the blame on someone else. There is so many people involved. When you hire photographers and other people and, you know, other people of that matter, even so, there's still a line of process of people that double check check these photos that are professionals that have a lot on the line that will go through and read these photos. Do you really think that most people want to get fucked up by a big major company just like Balenciaga? No. So I do not think for a second that they weren't at fault for this. What I do 100% believe is I think Balenciaga knew that there was a possibility that this could go downhill. So therefore they wanted to have in their back pocket someone that they could blame for for all of this that could be held up in court. Balenciaga actually issued two statements in their Instagram stories apologizing for the bears and said it shouldn't have been featured with children in this campaign. So they posted up two Instagram stories that were saying that they were unaware of this and pretty much saying they were unaware, this is not okay, they completely condemn it and they are taking illegal action now against this, which again, sorry I do not believe for a second how in the fuck does this get past you how genuinely you literally like, everything is put in place in these things for a reason there is absolutely no fucking way so then there's this this is the Instagram post because Balenciaga decided to literally wipe out majority of their social media but this is the new Instagram post that I have not seen yet I'm just now seeing that says Balenciaga takes the following actions with the objective to learn from our mistakes as an organization New control instances. Our current process for content validation has failed and we recognize the need to do better. On the internal side, we nominate with immediate effect an image board responsible for evaluating the nature of our content from concept to final assets, including legal, sustainability, and diversity experts. Good question. Why the fuck wasn't that in place before? You have money. You have a budget. Your job should be having that already. You should have immediately thought, hmm, that's a billion dollar company. We should make sure that we have people that are doing their job well. My thing is, is either one, they didn't have it because they were cheap and lazy, or two, they did and they're gonna claim that they didn't because their own original board fucking screwed them over. On the external side, we have appointed a best in class agency to assess and evaluate our content. As organization, we have reorganized our image department to ensure full alignment with our corporate guidelines. And it's so funny to me because they're just like, we're gonna make all these changes. This shouldn't have happened anyway. It's not like you accidentally like flash someone's ass something on the camera. You've showed 
all of these creepy documents, everything. You showed these things. How, like, I, I can't. It's not hard to avoid exploiting children. It's actually easy, in fact. It's called, just don't have the thought in your mind to do it. But here we are. Lawsuit. Balenciaga has decided not to pursue litigation. So apparently they're not going to sue the guy, allegedly. But they were wanting to. So again, I think this is a basic little claim of, oh, we were going to, but we're changing and it's fine. No, they know what they were doing. Learn and contribute. We want to learn and help and contribute to protect children. We are starting trainings on responsible communication across our teams together with my team. We will go on listening tour to engage with advocacy groups who aim to protect children. Here's my thing. Unless you actually have a designer company or part of your company that has a child line or something, kids should not be involved with this period. And if it's a kid involved thing, it should be Kid friendly. Um, donation. We have set aside a significant amount for grants to organizations so that way we can help make a difference in protecting children. Then it says, I want to personally reiterate my serious apologies for the offense caused and take my responsibility. At Balenciaga, we stand together for children's safety and do not tolerate any kind of violence and hatred message. Cedric Sherbet, the president and CEO. If this is all true, if, if it was true, and if they hired someone that genuinely fucked them over royally, okay? Sue them. You have pretty much unlimited budget to fuck them over. Fuck the predator up. Fuck the predator up. The fact that they're like, well, we, we're not going to pursue it. Why? Why not? Why not? Why are we not fucking up the predator that screwed up and posted up very inappropriate things in your guys' campaign? Why not? Though I would also like to say how there was, I believe, a parent of one of the children that actually spoke out. They wanted to be kept anonymous, but they said how Balenciaga was really great, how it was a really comfortable shoot, and nothing wrong with it. It just makes me physically sick seeing these kids being put in a situation and they're gonna grow up and they're gonna always look back on those photos. That is horrible. This has been used in a really nasty way. And this is something I am gonna also say as well. People should cut ties with them in general. I don't give a fuck if they're like, we're gonna change. This is different. There are certain things that I understand that companies may that can progress and change with. Cool. This is not something I truly think that can be forgivable in my opinion. It's just not. So I do not recommend supporting them. I'm very, very disgusted by this and I'm very uncomfortable with everything that happened. So that that's what ha has happened so far. There have been other little statements that have been posted up from other individuals who have been involved that are saying their apologies. But like this makes no logical sense that this could happen. It's not like it was an accident. It's not like like everything was particularly put in place in my opinion. Nothing was accidental in this from what I can see. Again, it's one thing like with Game of Thrones where they actually showed like a Starbucks cup and one of the shots. Accidents happen. Yeah, that's fine. This was put in place for a reason. How in the fuck do you sit there and organize paperwork about child porn with a bag? You could have put basic ass paperwork and had the same vibe. This was on purpose. I don't know. I, I, I can't comprehend it. I can't. That was it for today's video. Um, Moral of the story, fuck Balenciaga. I really hope that they don't have a comeback. I really hope people drop them and don't work with them anymore because this is truly disgusting. Again, I, don't, I, I know we can't have access to a lot of the behind the scenes stuff with them to see if they are making changes, but I don't trust them because this should have never happened to begin with. That was it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Stay glowing, my beautiful queens. I love you all. Bye.